Hey YouTube, what's up? Bando909 back with another video. Um, so as you can see on my table, I have the Warrior One uh, sniper rifle and my 1911 and my M9. Uh, going to do reviews. Obviously, you already if you haven't checked out the reviews on uh, the M 1911, go check those out. There's a shooting test and a review also on it. Uh, the M9 and the Warrior 1 are coming. Uh, the M9 I just got like last week, so I still have to do some shooting. And the Warrior 1, I just finally got some heavier grade BBs to shoot around with, so the scope isn't sighted in properly. But uh, what I can tell you is the gun is, is very excellent at uh, long range. Um, the mark is gone now, but on my elbow I did get shot. Well, actually, maybe not. It's kind of hard to see, but that pinkish spot right there. Yeah, right kind of in the center of the screen there. That was from about like 50 feet, um, and it did. You know, obviously, it's gonna hurt because it's uh, on freaking bare skin and bone, pretty much. So, yeah, it hurt. <laughs> but the gun's got a lot of power to it, and that's what I like about it. It's really cool. So, and uh, the M9. Also, I got some tragic news about the pistol. Um, I got it. I went to my friend's house with it, and he accidentally blew off. Actually, this is the good mag. See. Well, actually, this is the WE. I did some uh, modifications to because both these mags actually broke on me. The gun is not broken, people. The gun is a great gun to, to use. It's single or double action. It doesn't matter uh, what it is, so I'll be going over this gun in detail later on once I do some more shooting with it. I have to adjust the hop-up and shit like that for it. But um, this, on the other hand, is what happened, okay? This is actually the WE mag, as you can tell it by the spacing at the bottom here. Um, my friend was screwing around with it, and I had the slide off. He decided to put the mag in the gun and pulled the trigger while there was gas still in the mag, which is that's what you're never supposed to do. So the gas all blew out, and I didn't think of it, and then we were trying to figure out why the gun wasn't cycling. It was only shooting one time, and all the gas was coming out. That's why. This rubber, uh, there's a rubber piece I can see here on the other mag. This is the KJW. You see that rubber piece? This rubber piece blew off somewhere in the oblivion and we don't know where it is so the mags broke uh, pretty much unless I could find I don't know if you guys can comment below on what the name of that piece is or where I could find it that'd be great because I don't know where this mag is uh, piece is actually um, this is the WE mag it's just got the KJW plate on the bottom because I like the WE system better on this one I like this plate better so I left it on here so this is the KJW body and also what happened to the KJW mag is on this piece you can see notice how there's like the black up at the top and towards the bottom there's like a no there's a space here and if you look at this one it's just a solid black piece all the way down well that piece on this mag uh, this piece chipped off this was on the KJW mag this is the follower um, it chipped off here so it will not I mean the gun would still function fine but it would not lock the mag back after you fired the last round it would just keep firing repeatedly so what I did was is from the WE mag I punched out these two pins at the bottom here and I proceeded to actually I did it in bolt mags I like the WE's pins better that's the KJW pins here's the WE's the WE's are solid pins so I like their setup better um, I punched both all four of these pins out and removed the plate the base plates out of each mag Which to my surprise um, they were completely different um, inside um, They're not too much. They're all the same. They're alike in every way the follower the spring the base plates are all the same Obviously to fit in the guns the rubber pieces. I do not know what these are called. I'm just assuming there's, there's a rubber grommet um, I cannot find a replacement part. Otherwise, I would have just bought a replacement um, And then they have the same everything uh, the only difference is in the WE's mag in the bottom above this uh, valve here. There's a little aluminum or stainless pipe that goes up about a uh, it's like a, a two, an inch and a half pipe that goes up to feed the gas in. Whereas the KJW mag um, doesn't have that. It just it's just there's just the valve and it's got just open. And this is obviously the WE mag with that wider spacing at the bottom here. Um, I really wanted to save the WE mag because I like loading it from the bottom, but if you guys can help me, I would love you guys to death if you could help me out on that. Because I really don't feel like paying a $25 for a magazine. Um, but this mag, I did salvage. I recombined the parts. Actually, this is like a Frankenstein. This is actually the KJW body. Um, WE uh, stopper, or WE slide, slide uh, follower. 
spring base plates and obviously everything that's internal the the only thing that's the outside the only thing that's different is this valve is all this entire metal piece on the outside is KJW this valve is KJ or this grommet is KJW and obviously you know it's got no bottom piece to accelerate but the mag works so I don't care um, the gun is fine guns perfectly fine um, I have yet to figure out how to change the hop up which I'll read in the manual that's the Chinese these manuals these these Chinese they suck they cannot write manuals for shit, so I have to go look around and see how to do this. But it's a really awesome gun, as you can see. It's got the white sight in the front. I love that sight. Great sight. Um, obviously, it's blowback. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Fuck it. And if I can lock the slide back, damn it. There we go. Aha. So pretty much what would happen with the KJW is I'd fire, 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 and it just wouldn't do this. It just wouldn't lock back. It'd just keep firing until the gas ran out. So I just changed the, st the followers in it, and, the and I just decided to change everything over. Great gun, though. Great gun. Um, and the other reason why I did this was um, this box right here. Obviously, I covered my name with an envelope because I will not disclose that information. But uh, it is from Airsoft Atlanta. Um, they got their sticker on it. I wanted you guys to guess what gun is in this box. Now, I will give you a couple of hints. It is a pistol, and it is um, something that's, you know, not... It's Also, it's, you know, it's spring. It's not gas. Um, but it's something... It's a pistol that's not very common on the market. Um, I want. It's obviously... It's not uh, something you would find everywhere. So, it's a rare pistol. Uh, so, obviously, you know where to look. Airsoft Atlanta, probably, and... Just try to guess what pistol I have in this box. I will be doing a review on this pistol that's in this box on Friday or Saturday this week. So that'll be like the, uh, let's see here, today's the 14th. So it'll be the 15th or the 16th of June. Also, I have another uh, Fisher Boy. Actually, if you watched in my last video, if, I don't know how many of you watched that video anyway, but go to that video. I'll leave a link. Um, $400 Airsoft unboxing. Uh, he actually ordered a gun in the mail so if you can guess what assault rifle that he's getting coming in the mail too and again the same rules apply well actually let's see um the gun is electric only and it is not again it's a rare gun it's electric and it's rare um not a lot of people have this gun and i'll narrow it down since there's a lot of guns out there uh it was in modern warfare 2 and it was one of the last weapons you would get in modern warfare 2 one of the last not the very last but one of the last so it was in Modern Warfare 2, and it also was in Battlefield Bad Company 2, I believe. So, if you guys can guess that, who knows, I might give something away for free or something to send it to you guys. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Alright, so, uh, the Warrior 1 here, which is really sexy. I like it a lot. Uh, can't wait to do a review on that. I'm do I, You know, this freaking yard I have, I can't shoot uh, very long distances in, so I can't kind of give you guys an accurate reading, and I'm not going to do that because that would be really dishonest on a review. Um, so I'm going to shoot around a little bit more. And the WEM9, again, don't get me wrong, W is a great company. Uh, kind of work on their mag designs, though. I mean, actually, I should say, I don't know if it was a freak accident that both these mags decided to break on me at one time, but... Uh, one was careless, uh, careless following, and the other one was, I don't know what, plastic fatigue. Because obviously if you can see that, it's like cracked. So this was actually a KJW follower, not a WE. Did that, this thing that blew off the rubber grommet at the top, that was a WE thing. Um, and that was just careless mishandling, I think. And that was on, not on my fault, but I should have, uh, I should have took that into my own consideration. So, uh, yeah. Let no make sure you guys know when you lend your people your guns and make sure then they're gonna try to you know mess around with it. Make sure they don't do anything stupid, because um, that could happen and you know you can cost a lot of money. But he, but my friend's cool and he said he would replace the mag for me and I appreciate that. I tried to save him some money to try to find what piece that was, but obviously they, these Chinese ma these Chinese manuals suck balls, so I will have to do that. I'll uh, have to have him buy a new mag. So, but he's cool and he said he would buy it, so I appreciate it. And also, if you look over here, my 1911, I only have two mags with, uh, that's because Fisher Boy lost one of them, but again, he's paying me, he's, he's getting me another mag too when he orders, he's got his gun in the mail coming in, he's got me a replacement mag, so, yep, cool. So, you guys can guess what pistol that is, that'd be awesome, I might give something away for free, um, 
who knows? I don't know what I will give away for free, but I will see you in a bit. Um, until next time, guys, uh, there will be a review coming up this weekend. It's going to be a double unboxing with this box as well as another box from Fisher Boy will be coming in to do a review on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in my next review. So until next time, guys, peace.